a beautiful, beautiful day out today. And you know what? That puts me in a mood for hot pot because I love hot pot. And when it's a good day, I like to eat what I love. So we're headed to this place called Shabaharu and Roland High is very close to me actually. And yeah, I cannot wait to try all um, their stuff. I'm gonna get like every single add-on on the menu. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. So let's go. Oh yeah, check out my outfit. Isn't it cute? I'm wearing like a little black floral romper today. Um, if you guys want to check out my fashion page, it is at the Queen Rainer or my Instagram at the Raina at Raina is crazy. So take a look at those. But yeah, let's go. So we just arrived at Shabu Haru and take a look at this. They got menu specials. Um, they have lunch special and for dinner dinner special, they also have a limited veggies, which just sounds super good. Anyway, they got a lot of broth flavors here, and I'm gonna get that one because that one sounds really really good. The fire crab soup and. I'm gonna get like one of everything on the toppings of the menu because I am super hungry and excited to do it and um all the broths They've been cooking it for at least 48 hours. So there's so much flavor. Let's go inside and check it out This is really hot oh my God. Okay. Guys, We're inside and oh my god take a look at this that they made specially for me. So uh, Following their unlimited veggies for dinner. They made me a massive veggie bowl. That looks so pretty Oh my god, I can't wait to eat it. And look at that Look at their logo stamped on the tofu, that's super cute. And this is all of their toppings that they have here. Look at this, we've got popping fish balls, fish tofu, tempura, pork, uh, pork meatballs, meatballs, fish meatballs, sausage, gyoza, and again, on, oh yeah, when you order the meat, they don't, they don't have the meat pre-cut, so whenever you order it, they specially cut it um, for you so it's fresh. Look what I just found. So they have spicy sauce here, or spicy drop. One million Scoville. I'm gonna try that out in my hot sauce, in my soup. <laughs> Guys, this is the regular size of the meat, and that is spicy. Look at that big long board. We've got charbito, we got ribeye, and different grades of the meat. Oh my god, the barbecue one, that looks so good. I can't wait to try it. And then we have the uh, Wagyu sushi rolls here. Um, whenever the customer is ready to eat it, they'll come out and sear for you. So I cannot wait to try that either. Oh my god, that's so much food. All right, hey guys, so I was not kidding today when I said I was hungry. So <laughs> I'm at Shabaharu. This is pretty much the entire menu here. Um, we've got this massive meat plate you guys saw. We've got the Wagyu ribeye. We've got the chabudo, a prime ribeye. I'm just, it's just really good quality meat. The marbling looks amazing. We got this big veggie bowl. We got that sea, seafood bowl. We have the Wagyu sushi. We have all the um, add-ons over there, the popping fish ball, tofu, whatnot. We have all the appetizers over here. We have this M soda with the chia seeds, the pineapple jaritos. Oh my god, it smells so good. And in front of me, I have the most popular uh, flavors. I've got the craft fire soup and I have the tonkatsu soup. And of course, we got our 1 million Scoville extract. So let me taste the broth first. Oh my god, that crab soup, crab fire soup is really good. But I'm gonna, how much should I add in? I'm gonna add in some death here. So, I hope my hand's not steady enough for this. Oh, okay, that's a lot. And then we're gonna add in that because I, I wanna kill myself because Reina is crazy. That's why, okay. It looked, it looked like blood. It was not even like liquid. It wasn't like drip, drip, drip. It was like ooze. I want to zoom in on that slow-mo ooze. Okay, so I'm going to mix that in, see how that... It's not even turning too red, but you know, like this is, it's, um, it's dangerous. If it doesn't look red, it's like a silent killer. You never know. You can like prank somebody with this. That soup still looks clear, but I added in like, I don't know, maybe like 15 drops because it was just oozing out. Let me try. One million scope bill. Anyway, let's start off with one of this. Dip in that, start cooking that. Oh my god, I cannot wait. Spicy beef. And everybody's already like, oh my gosh, she's insane adding that much. Well, I mean, she, she's insane for sitting here eating this much food, but adding this much spicy to this much food? I don't know. I'm in the spicy mood still. So you guys know I've been having my spicy, spicy marathon. Oh my god, that's a huge piece of meat. Usually when you go to a shabu place, the meat just flimsy. It just it just like falls off and it's like, it just breaks apart. But look at this meat, it stays intact, it's meaty, it's big. Let's try this. All right, here we go. Mmm. Oh my God. That meat just melts in your mouth. That is so good. All right. I'm sorry, adding in some veggies. I taste the spice, by the way. Ooh. See, that one was actually spice, pretty spicy. I love this tofu, it has the brand on there, so I'm gonna add that in. This is gonna take a while, so 
You guys, if you guys are watching this, this is gonna take a long time. It's gonna be a very long mukbang because this is a lot of food. So grab some food, come join me. Imagine you're eating hot pot with me. If you guys have never had hot pot, you guys are gonna go out and get some. Basically, you have a soup in front of you. You have a soup base, it's flavored. Sometimes it's flavored, sometimes it's not. And then you have a whole bunch of different stuff, usually not cooked yet. And then you cook it in front of you and you know, it's a nice cooking experience. So, and this, I'm eating the really like, grade A Wagyu beef right now. That's why it's so good. This is like really prime, prime meat right here. It is really amazing. Oh my God. Where'd it go? I lost it. You know, this is the fun part. You kind of lose your meat sometimes. <laughs> That's what she said. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Besides the point. Oh, it cooks very fast. You just swirl it off for a couple of minutes. You don't want to overcook this meat. And it's already ready again. Oh my God. This one, it just melts in your mouth. Oh, in front of me, they also gave me their sesame sauce and the ponzu sauce. My personal favorite, if you ever go to a hot pot, is the sesame sauce. It kind of tastes like sweet peanut butter, and I really like peanut butter. So, I know, it sounds kind of weird. Peanut butter meat? Anyway, I like peanut butter on the meat. Oh, mmm. Woo, that's good. All right, let's try some of the soda. Mmm, ooh. Tastes really well, it's like tropical, fruity, nice palate cleanser from all the spicy savory food. Anyway, they also have appetizers here. I'm not too sure what this one is. We're gonna find out. Mm. It's good, it's tempura. Is it shrimp? Yeah. It's shrimp tempura. Mm. That's a classic. Delicious. Mm. No, no, I gotta add in more veggies. Mm. Oh wow, so they have fresh veggies here you saw in the kitchen. It's freshly made every day, freshly cut for you. And whenever you want to um, get more veggies, for dinner time, it's unlimited veggies. So let's try this enorki mushroom. Mm. Oh, this one's definitely going to, um, wait, let me cook it a little longer. I want that soaking the flavor. Mm. Adding some veggies. They also got ramen here. They also have ramen noodles here. Mm. I'm adding that, that. I'm gonna eat some ramen. Yeah, it's gonna take a while, but I'm hungry. Let's eat more of this tempura. I don't know. I don't know if I can eat all this. Honestly, no. This might be going a little bit over the board, but you know what? It's okay because Rena is crazy. Mm. I really like this broth. This fire crab one. If you like crab, there's actually, um, let me show you. There's actually a piece of crab in here. You see? Look, look at that. It's such a beautiful piece of crab too. So there's a fire crab soup. They actually have a crab in there. And in that flavor, it gets in there. It's seafoody. Seafoody, is that a word? I don't know. Anyway, it's good. Mm. But yeah, they have this available. You guys want to see how spicy you can go. It's actually like a good level. It's not too crazy. It's because I'm not drinking the broth. Oh, and this is their matcha green tea. Yummy. Yeah, if, you were drink if I was drinking the broth, I'd probably be dying because one really a Scoville of hot sauce. I can eat spicy, but that's still pretty insane. All right, this Enorkis mushroom is definitely going to soak up the spice, so let me try that. Oh no, it's actually really good. Oh, this broth is like, um, it's spicy sweet. Mmm, really good. Yeah, if you come here, I definitely recommend that. I usually, uh, fire crab soup broth. That's a very, it's a very unique broth. You usually never find that at um, shower places. Usually it's only like tonkatsu, uh, shoyu, or um, sukiyaki. So fire crab soup is a very unique flavor. So you want to try it, come try it out. We're in Roland Heights. Mm. Oh, the tempura is amazing. Mm. Mm. All right, let's dip some of this meat in here too. This one. Mm. This style is more um, of the Japanese style, I would say, kind of hot pot. But they do have them. Um, they also have like Sichuan flavored soup base, which is what I'm more used to, like the Chinese style of hot pot. Either way, it's very good. Mm. And this kind of eating style is more like a, you know, like a family get together. I gotta cook 
put the meat in front of you, so it's more of a, it's a social event. So this takes time to eat, but it's a nice experience. You guys are cooking, eating together. That's what hot pot is about, in my opinion. Because usually hot pot, I think of a whole family eating, because it's just so much food all the time. And it, it takes a while. It's not like, the, you know, like you're cooking the food gradually. But it's a nice experience, so if you guys never had one, come check it out. Now you know what hot pot is. I eat hot pot a lot. It's a very... My family eats a lot of hot pot. Alright, let me try this tofu. Tofu doesn't need to be cooked for too long. Mmm! Mmm! I don't know, it tastes that much better because the brand is on there. I don't know. It looks cool. Mmm. Oh, I love tofu. So did you guys know that I used to be 200 pounds? And when I when I was losing weight, I just keep eating tofu. Yeah, that would be like my snack. Like instead of like you know like chips and stuff, I would say fruits, but tofu is also one of them. So I just eat a whole bunch of tofu. Mm. And for me, tofu is very filling. So maybe that was the trick. It made me eat less. Mm. But yeah, tofu was one of my diet foods. Just FYI. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Straw fail. Yeah, I think it's because of my family, like the culture. Like, look, there is no portion control in this. I grew up with this kind of food. Like, we have no portion control in Chinese culture. So, when I was growing up, I just ate a lot of food mm, with nothing to control me. And when I got first, like, my own entree kind of meal, like at a uh, more westernized restaurant, I was like, this is not enough. I was like, I'm so hungry. You know, like I would eat my entree amount of meal. I eat, have to eat like at least two entrees worth of food because I was like, I'm not used to portion control or like personalized like portions. It was all, it would always be something like this with my family. So it wasn't until like a while later that I was like, oh, I eat a lot. Which leads to today. That's why I'm here eating a lot of food because it's like, oh my God, you eat a lot. And I'm like, I ate like this all my life. My grandma would feed me all the way up to the top of my throat because she always thought that um, food was at a um, scarce, there was a scarce amount of food. So she made sure I was fed, basically. Mmm. Oh, the meat put in this one is really good. Yeah, this one has like a sweet base. And because of that, it's spicy and I like the spice. Mmm. Oh my god, that was so good. Mm. Oh yeah, I took a bite of this earlier. Basically, this is calamari. They have fried calamari too. Um, fried calamari is a very uh, popular side dish or appetizers with most shabu places. So whenever you go to one, you'll find it. And this one? Mm. Fried perfectly. Mm. More of these calamari. Mmm. Oh. This is not the way to eat hot pot. You're not supposed to do that. But I do that. I just like dumping everything in. <laughs> oh well. Mmm. Oh my god, this is so good. Mmm. So another reason why I got fat so easily before was because um, my family eats a lot of fried food. <laughs> That's why I like fried stuff. Um, when I went to China back to my hometown, if you walk down the apartment, like literally there's somebody outside with like a portable walk with like a walk of oil just frying up stuff. And after I come downstairs, I was just like, hey, fried food in the morning for breakfast. Yeah. I ate a lot of fried food, so that's how I got very fat when I was young. But you know, the fat kid in me always wants more fried food, so I can never say no still. But I just limit, you know, I wouldn't be eating it like all the time. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, look at this. Mmm. It's a crab. It's a fried crab. 
So this is called fried soft shell crab, and the name applies it. It's soft shell crab, so you can actually eat the shell. Dip it in some of their sauce. Maybe some mayonnaise here. Mmm, mmm, wow. Yeah, even the claw. You can just eat right through it. Mmm, it's weird. I know. Usually, you think of crab like, oh my god, you're eating the crab shell. It's a thing, soft shell crab. It's pretty good too. Ooh, my ramen noodles already. It's soaked up all the fire crab soup flavor. Oh my god, that is so good. Having ramen noodles and, sh um, and shabu, I definitely recommend that because noodles really soak up that broth. And you know what, I'm not just saying this, most shabu places I go to, I kind of get, like, I don't like the Japanese style of uh, shabu usually because um, their hot pot, they focus more on the lighter taste. And when I have Chinese style hot pot, it's more of a heavier taste. But this broth is actually very flavorful. Like I said earlier, they've been um, keeping the broth um, boiling so that the uh, flavor sinks in for at least 48 hours. Oh my God. And so you can definitely taste it in their soup. It's really good. Oh. But then again, I did add a whole bunch of the Scoville hot sauce. Mm. I honestly don't know how I'm able to eat that right now. I'm just, I'm insane with spicy right now. I just have that face. I'm still in the face. I'm still in that spicy face. But back to the crab shell. Did you know that my, um, my cra crawfish eating contest, my first one, I thought this guy was insane. He was eating the crawfish shell. Like, all I could do was, um, I would be taking, you know, breaking the crawfish apart, sucking the guts out, and peeling whatever the meat they had. He was eating the actual meat. And they, um, they calculate that whoever wins the contest by the weight. So him eating the shell, yeah, he won that contest. Good for him. Good for him. That was a very interesting experience. I don't think I can ever eat the shell of a crawfish like that. It's too much. I feel like I'm gonna get stuck in the back of my throat and like cut me or something. I don't know. Oh, almond is so good. I know you guys are going to say, oh my god, cross-contamination. Okay, look. I'm Chinese. I don't care about cross-contamination. Plus, this is beef, so it's not even that bad. But they do have, like, extra utensil on the side for you to, like, switch on and off. I don't, I personally don't care. I know some people have a pet peeve about that, but... I'm Chinese. I eat anything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't. I'm not... I don't know if you guys saw that video with reckless eating. I, I, I cried. I legitimately cried because they made me eat a bug. I was like, please don't make me do it. And then they made me eat a bug. I put it in my mouth for a half, like it has less than half a second. But I was already bawling my eyes out. I was like, no, no, don't make me eat it. But it was part of their show. And, and I manned up and put it in my mouth for like less than half a second. I spit it out and I started crying. <laughs> Check that video out if you want to see me suffer. But never again. I'm never doing anything like that again. I I cannot. I cannot. Uh, I am going to just knock out all the meat so we can have more space on the table. Get that garnish out of the way. This is how not to eat shabu, by the way. You don't do this. I just like to put everything in at once because I'm impatient and I just want to get it, everything done. You're supposed to eat it piece by piece like I did in the beginning, but I don't care. I just want my meat because I like meat. And this meat is really good. And spicy. All right, so we're gonna get that out of the way so we can actually see. 
there we go. Now we've revealed a whole tray of their add-ons. So on this one, it's all the add-ons that they offer. They got popping fish ball, meatballs, tempura, more udon noodles over there. Mmm. Woo. I'm not dying. I'm actually, it's actually getting really spicy. Huh. But this will slowly cook. Mmm. Oh, I forgot I have seafood. I'm putting my muscles. You guys are gonna hate me, but I'm gonna put in the oysters because I cannot eat raw oysters. For those of you who want me to do an oyster challenge, that is never happening. That is almost as impossible as a bug challenge. I cannot, I cannot handle raw stuff. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. No, more, ooh, crap, okay. <clears throat> Tuna. Yeah, you can actually eat this too. They have sushi here, by the way. They have grade A sashimi grade tuna fish that I cannot eat either. You guys are hating me right now. Sushi lovers are hating me. But I'm gonna add that in. Okay. All right, that's all the seafood. All right, it's cooking. I'm gonna turn that fire up to high. E. E. Struggles. Oh wait, that's already. All right, I'm stupid. All right. Anyway, it's going. It's going. Hmm. I'm gonna just wipe off my lipstick. This doesn't stay on. Anyway, back to story time. Um. Do you guys like these, by the way? Let me know if you like my stories. And then tell me some topics I can talk about next time. While that cooks, I'm gonna eat more of this appetizer. What's this one? I don't even know. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's fried chicken. I love fried chicken! Mm. Oh. I'm such a little kid. I don't know why I like fried chicken so much. Okay, everybody likes fried chicken. Mm. 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 Oh yeah. Come on. I'm gonna dip in some of this broth. I really like the spider crab broth. Mmm, mmm, so oh, good. Mm. Oh. And I used to make a, you can get like those 10 pound bags of um, raw chicken. Try it. Mm. For like 10 bucks, I'm not even joking. You can buy that kind of chicken in bulk, it, not chicken breast, like chicken wings or chicken, uh, like whole pieces of chicken, you can get that for really cheap. I would cut it up and I would fry the chicken, you know, just cook a whole bunch of chicken and I would feed my friends all the time. Yeah, I'm the food mommy. I've always been the food mommy. Even like before I did eating, I used to cook a lot. And you know, for my friends who aren't that, that well off, I would cook for them like every night. I'd be like, hey, come over for dinner because you know, they don't live with their families. We all lived on our own and you know, they don't have food to eat. One of them actually ate spaghetti off the floor and I was like, why? Because he didn't have food to eat. And I was just like, dude, just come over. Let me feed you. So I would prepare like huge feasts for all my friends because I just like to take care of people I like. That's me. I'm the food mommy. Mm. Nowadays, we're all doing better. We're growing up. That was back when I was like um, 19, 20, 21, something like that. Mm. I'm 24 now, by the way. Yeah. Oh. I have to take care of people I like. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. <clears throat> I'm gonna dump that in here. So it's hard to suck on. It's too high. Okay. I really like chia seeds. I don't know. Chia seeds make me happy because they're so cute. I like cute looking things. I like cute things. It makes me happy. I like colorful, bright stuff in case you haven't noticed. I'm a very... I like to be positive. There was a time in my life where I was kind of like, eh. You know, everybody gets those emo days. But now, you know what? Life is too short to look at the um, negative side. So just... Let's look to the bright side. See, see what I can find about the bad stuff. Even if bad stuff happened to me, I'm like, you know what? 
I'm in a good place still. You know, I just think of, I just think of what could have happened. I'd be like, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It could have been worse. Just stay positive and optimistic. And you know what? That helped me a lot to like get through like stuff from the hard times. And I finished all this. It's just garnish. Yeah, but being a happy person just it just makes life better. And life is like I said, life is too short to be down and about about something. And I'm just gonna put all these meatballs in here. Because these meatballs need to cook. By the way, this is made in-house too. Um, these meatballs are made fresh and they need to be cooked, so I'm gonna just add them all in there. Whew. So we're gonna get done with all the apple oh, there's sausages. I didn't know there were sausages. Huh. Alright, we've got popping fish balls. I love these by the way. Poppy fish balls are a very like Taiwanese thing. I think because when I worked at uh, Tenrens for a long time, it's free advertising for them. I didn't like working there. Anyway, I, I would eat fried popping fish ball all the time. Ooh. Yeah, it's just a nice snack. Like I said, I used to eat a lot of fried food, which is not good. Mm. Ooh, they got like little lumpia bakes. That's so cute. Is it lumpia? Yeah, it kind of tastes like lumpia. Mm. Oh, we actually did a pretty good job. Mm. Well, eating a lot of shabu is very normal for me. My boyfriend took us to um, Hot Pot for uh, one month. Uh, one month the other day. You'll meet him soon, I promise. Um, and we were at Hot Pot. Funny thing. Usually when I go to Hot Pot, I, I always get all you can eat. I go to all you can eat place because I, it's, I can eat a lot of Hot Pot. It's, it's just something I grew up with and eating food that I grew up eating. I mean, I, yeah, eating food that I grew up eating, eating, um, it's just easier for me to eat because I'm so used to the flavors, you know? So, uh, <clears throat> he knows I eat a lot and because it was on one month, he just ordered a whole bunch of stuff for me when I was like, you didn't need to do that. But he did it anyway. And he told me that him and his family, family of three, when he used with his mom and dad, they would eat only like um, a third of what he ordered. I finished everything and I wasn't really that full yet. <laughs> I just eat a lot of hot pot. Mm. He wanted to order more, but I was like, it's okay. Like I'm, I don't need to eat that much, but I can. It's hot pot. I really, I just can't eat a lot of hot pot. But he's a sweet guy. I promise you will meet him soon. I just, I'm waiting for that right moment. You know, I need the right video to really introduce him properly. Cause I know you guys are very critical when I invite somebody else onto my videos. I don't know if it's like, cause I know you guys are protective of me. I appreciate it, but. You know, sometimes when I have guests on my video, could you just be a little bit nicer? I know, I know they're, I know like, like they're not, I'm, I'm the weird, weird competitive eating girl, you know, and I think that's why you guys like me. But, you know, sometimes when I'm working with other people, just please be a little nicer to them. I know some people are nice, but I don't need like the whole comment section just bashing on the other thing. I feel kind of bad. And you guys know I read all the comments and that I usually heart most of them that that video I actually didn't heart like a lot of them because it was making fun of the other person that I was in the video and I was just like ah, you know you know hmm. I just don't want other people to think that I'm purposely trying to make them look bad I'm not I really like to work with other people, you know? It brings like, you know, it just makes my videos like more fun and it gives it more variety and stuff. Hmm. I cannot get over how good this movie is. It's literally just buttery melt in your mouth. Oh, I think it's time. So guys, they also have um, a uh, Wagyu sushi. And then whenever the customer is ready to order, they actually come over and they start seeing it for you. Ooh! How would you like it? Medium, medium rare, well done. Well done. Well done. I'm trying to kill you. You guys are going to hate me. I don't even love them.
much. Well, that was a very cool experience. I've never had that at a uh, shabu place. <clears throat> mm. I think I'm gonna try it. So, ooh, look at that. See that? Beautifully cooked. All right, we got ginger on the side. Ooh, it's still hot from the flame too. Is this wasabi? Oh, it's like a creamy wasabi thing. Is that wasabi? Ooh, like a creamy wasabi sauce. All right, here we go. Dip it in there. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Wow. That beef is like butter. I mean that. I barely have to chew this. Mmm. It's got a nice sweet glaze on it too. So it's it's almost like I think this beef is marinated and there's sweet glaze on there. And the rice has like beef sauce on there. Mmm. Oh my god. Wow. That is amazing. Well, it's super easy to fill that. That was really good. Mmm. Yeah, highly recommend to try that one out. Yeah, just all the beef quality here is really, really good. Really fresh ingredients, really fresh veggies. Mm. And it's all you can eat veggies. This place is awesome. Okay, this is getting hot. This is getting spicy. Ooh. It's because that soaked up the <laughs> it soaked up the uh, the broth. Mm. Oh in my nose. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's because I wasn't eating the broth early because I was just drenching it out, but I kind of soaked it all up with this beef. Mm. all the meat because I dug out all the meat so we pretty much finished all that meat plate now this is the seafood and some of the veggies and the add-ons moment give me a moment for that that wagyu sushi oh my god that was definitely one of the most amazing things i had in a while so good mm. all right let's take out some of the fish tofu mm. Mm. sausages Have I convinced you guys to um, have papaya or try it out if you have it? Because you definitely need to experience this at least once. At least once. It's a very unique way of eating food, in my opinion. Mmm. Got the mussels. Mmm. So There's all the balls. All the meatballs and fish balls on in this one. What's in this one? All the seafood, right? Yeah, I'm lost. Oh yeah, I have um, I have uh, like fish and stuff in there. Okay, it's hot. Let's try this flat. Oh, this is not flat. It's oyster. Oh yeah, I put the oyster in here. Okay, I have oysters. From my hometown in China, they actually call have this thing called oyster pancakes. Mmm, that's good. I love it. Uh, basically, imagine like kind of like an egg pancake with oysters and there's a chives in there and leek. Very good. Mm. Oh. Oh wow. Seafood is on point too. 
Yeah, and my daddy makes this like a special garlic sauce with soy sauce, vinegar, and like aged garlic. Some jalapenos if I want spicy. Oh my god, it's like the most bomb sauce ever. It's like a little bit, it's got this weird hint of sweet and it's a little spicy and savory. And with that oyster pancake, oh my god, it's so amazing. Mm. So what makes the fish tofu different from regular tofu is the texture is definitely harder. There's kind of like a fried crust on the outside. Instead, instead of since we're boiling it, it's soaked instead of like crispy. But the, there's a skin. There's a skin on the outside. Mm. And of course, as the name implies, there's more of the seafood fishy flavor to it. But rather than the regular tofu, the tofu just breaks apart. It's very soft. I can't even pick it up without breaking it. So it's very, very soft. You can just poke through it. This one, like, it's a little bit harder. Can't really poke through the fish tofu. Mm. Yeah, I'm taking it out to let it cool down first. Right now, this soup is super hot. expect sausage out of shabu place to be good. Mm. Wow, that's a good sausage. Mm. Mm. It's really cute, it's like a mini sausage. They oh! Asian fail, chopstick skills fail. I'm not the best at chopsticks. I'm decent. I'm actually not holding the chopsticks right. Mm. I'm holding chopsticks like the way I hold a, hold a pencil. Oh my God. Speaking of which, I haven't touched a pen or a pencil in a while. You know, when you grow up and you don't need to like take notes or like, you know, you don't need to like write stuff. You're actually like typing and texting. Like I haven't held a pencil in so long. Maybe a pen, but a pencil? Who holds a pencil, right? You know, I used to do, be very good with, I mean, I'm still okay. Like my penmanship is still, Pretty good, but I used to do a lot of calligraphy as well. Hmm. I'm very artsy. I did a lot of art stuff. You know, but I guess that translates to all this video making and the creativity that goes into YouTube. You know. Because as a YouTuber, I always have to be thinking, what's my next video? Like, what can I make different, you know? Like, for me personally, I know some YouTube channels is very like Pokemon episode. It's just like the same thing over and over. For me, everything's like a variety, you know? Like you never know what to expect in my videos. I do you always like, I do something different all the time. Usually it was just food challenge, food challenge, food challenge. But then I'm like, guys, realistically, I cannot be eating a food challenge all the time every day. So I had a way to make a way to change it up. And I listened to you guys who told me to do vlogs. Yeah, um, I collided with some mukbangers like Nikocado. And I'm like, oh, there's just so much different variety I can do. You know, YouTube is such a great creative platform. There's just so much ideas out there that you can do whatever. Oh. Yeah, my mind is always like thinking, right now, what are you going to do next? You know? I have that kind of mentality, which I think is good. There you go. You want to know something though? I don't sleep. I, I don't sleep that much, which is bad. I wish I could sleep more, but there's so much stuff going on my mind. I just cannot, my mind just automatically wakes up on its own. And late at night, I'm always thinking, thinking, thinking. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Because every day I edit. Yeah. I've been editing every day. I've been filming every day. I've been posting on Instagram every day. It's it's a grind, it's a hustle, but it's fun. I like it. It's a very good um it's a fun, you know, it's a fun feeling. Fun experience. I really want more meat. But it's okay. That meat was so good. Really high quality meat. Alright, let's try one of the meatballs. The meatballs they make on their own too. Mmm. Oh, there we go. 
here was the meat I wanted and meatball form. In a bog form. It's it's a this is like ground beef kind of it kind of tastes like a burger. Kind of tastes like a burger but a ball form. Which I'd like with some peanut butter sauce. Mmm. Yeah, it actually tastes like a hamburger. I think that's cute. Okay. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, tofu is always great. Alright, let's try this. Ooh! Alright, this is popping fish ball. Why it's popping? It's because you bite into it right away. This fish filling inside here is going to pop in your face. So, I always pop a little bit so then that you see that? You see that stuff's oozing out? That's the filling. If you bite into it too quickly, that thing pops it at you. Mmm. And the inside is kind of like the sweet mash. Kind of tastes a little cheesy. It's like a sweet fishy mash. Mmm. Sweet fish cream, kind of in the middle. Mmm. Oh, the meatballs are really good too. Oh, here's the shrimp ball. So they have different ones. They got a beef one, they got shrimp and fish. Here's the shrimp one. Let's try this. Mmm. Ooh. Yep. Shrimp ball. Ooh. Flavors are really good. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I told you guys, right? This is going to take a while to eat. Oh. I'm not sure how much more I can eat. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to be able to finish that. Because I'm pretty filled up on the meat. But. Whew. But, I, I mean, we killed most of it, right? I did good. I did good. And these meatballs are starting to get to me because these meatballs are filling because they're thick. Oh, I found another piece of meat. Yay! Here's another piece of meat. It's fun because it's like, you know when you get the bag of fries and then at the, after you finish the, bo the box of fries and inside there's like the hidden bag fries. Oh my God, those are the best. It's kind of like this feeling. This is the uh, bottom of the soup shabu hot pot meat piece. It's good. Best part. More. Oh, my more. Come on here. Yeah, it's all hidden. Everything's a hit hide and seek game now. Mmm. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that spice went in there. Ooh. Sometimes that spice just gets into my mouth. Remember, guys, from the beginning of this video, I added a whole bunch of that one million Scoville hot drop, okay? My stomach is actually, like, my mouth might not be feeling, my stomach's actually turning a little bit because it's very spicy. You know, maybe I don't feel it, but my insides are. Mm. <clears throat> okay, this is pretty much gone. Just some balls in there. Okay, I, I remember, I think... There is, should be some kind of fish piece in here that I need to find. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is the white fish. Ooh, ooh, it's all soft now. Oh, ooh, look at that white fish sauce. I mean, white fish piece. See, my mind is starting to die. That's when you know I'm really full. I'm starting to get full. My mind dies out. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm starting to blabbering off. I have a date with boyfriend later. If you guys want to check that out, check out uh, Reina is Crazy. No, youtube.com slash Reno is crazy. I put, I put dates and stuff on there. Mm. Before I made an actual reveal video for this. That video, that channel has like more casual vlogs and stuff where I'm not eating a whole bunch and I just want to take you guys on my everyday adventures. Mm. 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 Ooh, the fish is good. Ooh. Mm. All right. I'll turn that one off. Oh my, yeah, my stomach's starting to feel the, the capsaicin cramps. 
Yeah, my mouth can handle the spice now. My insides are a different story. See, there's two parts to doing a spicy challenge. One is over here, the throat and the mouth. The second part is the insides, you know? I've gotten good with the tolerance over here, but the insides are turkey. So it, it's, yeah. oh my God, 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 something went up my nose. Huh? I got cock blocked with the sneeze. Don't you hate that when you get cock blocked with the sneeze? Oh my god, it's the worst feeling in the world. And I know a lot of people having allergies right now. They have this. My boyfriend's like this. They're having this. I want to sneeze, but can't sneeze feeling the whole time. It's terrible. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I can blow it out. Oh. Yeah, I. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's bad to do while eating, but I need to get that out. Okay. I think I didn't have tried this ball yet. Oh, what is this one? Tastes like a chicken ball. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Huh? Never had a chicken ball. Very interesting. Mmm. Okay, right, we're gonna have one more popping fish fry, and then I'm gonna call it. I'm done. This M soda is also really good too. If they gave me more meat though, I would eat more meat. Yeah, I could eat more of that meat. I'm a big meat fan. Right. I like really like the soda. Mmm. Mmm. I love popping fish sauce. Oh, found another piece of meat. Wish granted. Still a few hidden in here. Some hidden. Oh, there's not. I'm gonna finish the meat. I don't want the meat to go to waste. Okay. Alright, that's it. No more meat. Hi right, guys. I mean, we did good. We did pretty good. This is a big pile of veggies over here, but pretty much everything else fits a little bit. Not too much in there. I mean, I finished all the appetizer appetizers. I finished all the meat. Finished most of the add-ons. Oh. oh, yeah, my stomach, stomach is starting to feel that spice. One billion in Scoville, guys. Oh, okay. I'm done. Oh, that was delicious. Mm. Hey, guys, anyway. If you are in the move for hot pot and you're around this area in Roland Heights, please come check this place out, Shabuharu. Mmm delicious amazing quality if you come visit them let them know i sent you but um if you're not around this area try to come to here anyway but if you go visit hot pot let me know how your experience was because i know some places don't have hot pot and some of you might be like what is hot pot but it's definitely worth the experience so go check it out and i hope you guys enjoyed this video like my talk hope you guys enjoy eating with me if you finish your meal hope you're full now i'm pretty done I'm not like full, 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 but I'm like the comfortable, I do not need to eat more full, especially because I'm going out with boyfriend later. So yeah, that's that. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.